The next flip flop is D flip flop. Uh, first, let us understand what is a flip flop. Flip flop is a memory element which is used to store single bit information. That information can be either zero or one. There are several types of flip flops: S, R, D, T, and J, K. Now we are going to see about D flip flop. D flip flop is also called as data flip flop. The term D refers to data. In some books, they say it is direct flip flop, but data is a correct word. D flip flop says it is data flip flop. Now D is an extension of SR flip flop. Can you see this is an SR flip flop where you have uh, S input and R input, Q as output and Q bar as output. If I take the D input, provide directly to S and invert it and get D bar and give it to R, I call that construction as D flip flop. So D is an extension of SR. So this is the circuit diagram of SR flip flop. Can you see? This is a circuit diagram of SR flip flop. How am I converting SR into D? Is I take D terminal directly connected to S, invert the D terminal, I get D bar connected to R. So this becomes what a D flip flop. So in the place of data, you can write D also. Okay, D stands for data flip flop. So there is. A single input D, the two outputs Q and Q bar. Okay, and you know clock is mandatory in a flip flop. The output changes if there is a change in clock signal. So let us see the working of D flip flop. D is called as data flip flop. The one important thing in D flip flop one should understand is whatever be the value of D. If D is zero, output is zero. D is one, output is one. D is zero, output Q is zero. D is one, output Q is one. Okay, this will happen only when clock is high. If clock is high, whatever input you give, that input will come as the output. If the clock is low, it means if the clock is low, irrespective to the type of input D, the output will not be any change. The output will not have any change. So it, I, we can say it acts like a memory. Okay, so this is the true table of D flip flop. Now, from the true table of D flip flop, let us write the characteristic table of D flip flop. What is characteristic table of D flip flop? R obtain the next state Q of n plus one based on the present state and input. So, what is a characteristic table? Obtain the next state based on present state and input. So, what is uh, present state? Q n. What is next state? Q of n plus one. So, there are two parameters. One is Q n is the present state. Q of n plus one is the next state. So, what is that we are going to do in the characteristic table? We are going to obtain the values of Q of n plus one based on present state and next uh, present state and D input. So since present state and D input are there, two two inputs zero 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 one one zero one one. Now I need to fill what is Q of n plus one. D I said very very easy. Input comes as such to the output. So D zero output zero. D one output one. D zero output zero. D one output one. Are we done with characteristic table? Now how will I write the equation? I say Q of n plus one. Q of n plus one is equal to Q. Is equal to D. It means Q of n plus one is equal to D. What do you mean by that? Whatever you have D input will come as such in Q of n plus one. That is why we say Q of n plus one is equal to D. From this, let us write the excitation table. What is excitation table? This table is used to find the input D when present state and next state is given. So, can you see if Q n and Q of n plus one is given? What will be the value of D? That is what we are going to find. Since present state and next state is given, two inputs, you can write 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Now see present state and next state are 0, 0. Go present state is 0, next state is 0. What is the input of D? 0. So fill the D as 0. Now present state is 0 and next state is 1. Present state is 0, Q n is 0. Q of n plus 1 is 1. What is the value of D? 1. So fill 1 here. If present state is 1, next state is 0. Present state is 1, next state is 0. What is the D value? 0. So write 0 here. Present state is 1, Q n is 1. Q of n plus 1 is also 1. Q n is 1. Q of n plus 1 is also 1. What is the value of D? 
1. So fill the D. So if you write this, this would be the working of D flip-flop. So D flip-flop start with saying what is a flip-flop? What is meant by data flip-flop? Data flip-flop is an extension of SR flip-flop. Connect S to D and D bar to R. This will be the circuit of D flip-flop. How will you draw the true table of D flip-flop? If D is 0, output is 0. D is 1, output is 1. Is it clear? When D is 1, Q is zero, 1. D is 0, Q is 0. So fill the true table. After filling the true table, fill the characteristic table. What is characteristic table? Get the value of Q of n plus 1 based on Q n present state and d input what is the excitation table get the value of d based on present state and next state this is how you need to fill uh, the tables this is the working of d flip flop thank you